This past week marked the one year anniversary of my father's passing. Um, after a long battle with cancer, he transitioned on August 13th of 2013. And earlier this week, I was sitting at my kitchen table looking outside and really reflecting on the past year and all of the moments during this year. And this past year has, has had so many aha moments for me and so many changes and transitions and really got me thinking and really got me questioning how we choose to live our life. Think about why you work. Most people will say, well, I work so I can pay the bills or I work so I can pay off bills or I work so that I can maintain the lifestyle that I've chosen to build for myself. And in building that lifestyle, it either brings us happiness and joy or it brings us burden, burdensome energy or a sense of burden. And so I want you to think about why you choose to do what you do. Why are you choosing to maintain a big, huge house? Why are you choosing to mow your yard? Why are you choosing to do the job that you're doing? Why are you choosing to be with the partner that you're choosing to be with? And really, really reflect on the energies that are in each of these facets of your life. And are there any places in your life that you're choosing to be passive about? Because how we choose to spend each moment is how we choose to spend our life. And how we trade in one hour of our life is how we trade in our entire life. Each, each moment of our life is a moment that we'll never get back. Life equals time. Time typically equals money, especially if you have a job that you get paid by the hour. Money, many times, equals energy. So if I work for an hour, I get X number of dollars. So the energy that you put into a particular job, you get X number of dollars back. So money equals energy, energy equals money. Many times, energy also equals, equals emotion. You, you put forth X number of hours in your yard to maintain it and make it look beautiful and the emotion that you feel is relief, maybe, oh yay, I'm finally done, or excitement of wow, look at how good it looks. Or maybe you've worked for hours at a job and you leave that job feeling exhausted and feeling taxed, feeling just like, oh, I'm so glad that it's over. Other people have a job that they absolutely love and they want to stay at that job all the time because it's what their, what their um, sole purpose is and it just makes them feel alive and it makes them feel full of joy. So think about how you're choosing to spend your time and think about these emotions that are driven and these emotions that result in the time that you trade because again, how you choose to spend your time is how you choose to spend your life. And if you're in a situation that does not resonate with you, that makes you feel drained, that makes you feel dissatisfied, that makes you feel frustrated or angry or depressed, ask yourself why you're choosing to spend your life feeling that way. Because if you transition tomorrow and you reflected on all of it, would you feel happy or satisfied with how you chose to live your life, with how you chose to trade each moment of that, of, of that life that you were given. So this week's challenge is about how, how do we spend our life? Look at, look at how you choose to trade your time and how you choose to trade your life. And does that resonate with you? If not, you and you alone can change it. If you're not happy, you can choose to change it. Your happiness is your choice. If you're in a situation that causes unhappiness, you have the choice to speak your truth, to change it, and to make that situation more fulfilling for you. So this week's challenge, again, is to reflect on your life, reflect on all the facets of your life, and ask yourself, why am I choosing to do this? Why am I choosing to trade a moment of my life for this particular thing? And do those things that I really want to have in my life, do they exist? One of my measures of success is having time with my family. And one of the things that I noticed over the past year is that I was working a lot. 
And so I worked very diligently over the past several months so that I can take more time off. And so now my work week is Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. I take Fridays off and I take the late afternoons off so that I can spend time with family. And that makes me feel so much more fulfilled in my work. It makes me feel so much more joy. It makes me feel so much more satisfied with my life. And you can do it. You can choose to craft a life and a lifestyle that will be so fulfilling and so rewarding for you. But it is your choice and your choice alone. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter and any other social media platform as well as an email. If you've really loved it, please subscribe so you won't miss one single episode of Fearless Friday. Until next week, I'm wishing you a fearless and fabulous week. Bye-bye.